Okay, we are back at Dayton Hamvention and back at the VHQ Hex booth. And Dave has a couple of add-on accessories that go on top of the hex beam that you guys might want to check out. So Dave, thanks for the time this morning. Show us what you got here. Okay, so I've been asked about this from the beginning and originally I, I didn't want to really do it, but then I started, <laughs> uh, a guy approached me two years ago in Florida and I made him a prototype and it was in beta testing uh -huh. for a year and he absolutely loved it. So when I came back from Hamcation this year, I put it into production. So what it is, is gives you the ability to put a two meter 440 stick on top of your hex beam. Now, mm -hmm. this is something that nobody else could possibly do because they don't have the strength in the center mass. So mm -hmm. what I did was I designed these and it's just an add-on that you can put right on your center mass and you will not break this thing. Mm -hmm. So the extra length and the extra weight is not going to hurt it at all. So once I got the stick one done, I decided that why not make one for a Yagi. So I have two models, one for the, for the stick and one for the Yagi. And here's a couple of static uh, demos of them. So, and uh, they don't give any interference with your hex. So the reason I have two different ones is if you're just going to use a stick, I figured, why would you want to put the extra length and weight up there? So, right. And you could get the Yagi one and put a stick on it, but if you were not planning on using a Yagi, you're just wasting your money because it is more expensive. But I needed to have it bigger in diameter and taller to get the element above the plane of the top of right. the hex. Right, right, right. That makes sense. You didn't want that down inside the the elements so mm -hmm. a lot of people want them they've only been available for a couple of months now and they're on my website but i think a lot of people don't really know about it but i've, I've actually sold hexes to people that said i you know i wasn't going to buy a hex but now that i see that you have the ability for me to put a two meter 440 on top yeah it's basically good a crossover good for the one of the guys in texas where i live uh he lives about an hour south of me he has a hex, he's had a hex beam up for a long time. And I don't remember what brand it is, but he had a vertical, he had a GP9, Comet GP9 in the center of his hex beam. And I always thought that was a great idea. Yeah. I just, I don't, I have no idea how he mounted it. This was I years ago. I don't know how they would support it either. Because, right. Because I don't think the, the others would have the physical strength to support something like that. I think he, I think he kind of manufactured something done, himself. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure it wasn't commercially yeah. bought, but. But we'll, uh, you can see, so basically this is, my top cap, it looks like this. It's machined and it interlocks in there very tightly and it's held in with a uh, couple of number 10 screws. So mm -hmm. if you have an existing one and you want to add this, you basically have to remove the 10 screws, the number 10 screws, drill the clearance holes out to 5 sixteenths, then this pops in and it has 5 sixteenths screws. Gotcha. So all of the strength in this and then the top is the tight fit of the inside square because when this sets in there it, the tolerance is so tight that the, the screws really only hold it down mm -hmm. you're getting all your structural strength from from these tabs that go down inside the antenna well it's a good add-on i think people will like it people well, seem to enjoy the the uh, rotatable dipole 40 meter dipole you made for it well those so, are really going strong now yeah it's really the only um Solution to 40, really. For right. Hacks, but. Good. Well, good. Thanks for your time, Dave. Hope you All have right. a good show. Right. And uh, it was good to catch up with you. All Appreciate right, it. Thanks. Good seeing you. Yeah, good seeing you.